I'd like to introduce you to the registry editor, but before we get started with that, I want to outline the quick steps. What we're going to do is we're going to prepare your computer to repair itself. This includes Vista, XP, and Windows 7. Earlier versions I'm not sure about. Windows Vista will repair itself for some time, but then it will quit working. If you have Vista, you'll probably need to either downgrade to Windows XP or upgrade to Windows 7. The SFC scanner on Windows 7 should repair itself. If it does not, you're going to have to contact the company, Microsoft that is, because I, I as of this moment, do not know how to crack into that and force the computer to do what I'm, what I'm showing you here. You can try this. Please contact me with your results. I'm very interested to find out if, it's, if it works. Now, let's continue. First thing you want to do, hit your Command button, hit your R button. You want to go to your registry. Type in Registry Edit or Reg Edit. Click OK. Create a backup. And then you want to go down HP Local Machine, then Software, then Microsoft, right here. Then you want to go down to Windows, and then follow that tree down to Setup. From there, you need to change your Service Pack Source Path and your Source Path to your root directory. Once you've done that, assuming you've already backed up your registry, you do need to back up your registry just in case. You can do that by clicking on Export and save it somewhere safe. Okay? Remember, when you click Export, you need to check All. Okay? Need to make sure you check All and name it. Okay? Then click Save. Once you've accomplished that, um, you can just change it by double-clicking, by the way. And once you've done this, then you want to get out of your registry and you want to go in to Windows Explorer. Now, if you have the OEM disk, the disk that came with Windows, the installation disk that says Windows 7, Windows XP Service Pack 2, Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3, whatever version you have on your computer, you'll need that disk. You will need to copy the i386 file folder from that disk onto your computer. You will have it on your CD-ROM. In this case, I do have a DVD. It doesn't have a disk in it. However, be aware you will need to copy those files, the i386 folder, onto your root directory. And it will show up just like this right here, i386 in the root directory. Once you've copied those files, once you've modified your registry as I've described to you, then if you hit your Control and your R button, type in SFC Scan Now, SFC space forward slash Scan Now, all one word, click OK. This will start your file protection scan. This is actually a program that was created by Microsoft. It is incorporated into every newer version of Windows. If you run this program, it will either run through and you don't have a problem, or it will pop up an error message. Now, if it pops up the error message, let me show you what that looks like. Let's go down here to Windows and see if I can find the error message. Let's see. This is going to be what the message looks like. Windows File Protection. Files that are required for Windows to run properly must be copied to the DLL cache. If this warning window pops up for you when you're doing your SFC scan, it's telling you files are required. You must copy the files to the DLL cache for Windows to work properly. And it's going to tell you, insert your Windows XP disk, and it will name it XP Home Edition, Professional Edition, Service Pack 1, Service Pack 2, Service Pack 3, it will tell you exactly what it wants. Please follow those instructions and then put the disk in if you don't want to have it self-repair or if you don't have the disk, you can get it online. If you need help with this or if you're having problems, please contact me. I am 
online most of the time, and if not, you can send me an email. Um, I do encourage you to try this for yourself because it will save you hundreds of dollars, and it will save you a lot of frustration for programs that quit working on you. This is one of the main reasons why Windows quits working or has a problem. This is the main reason why you have to call technicians in to make the repairs. Okay? Just be aware of this. The message warning is telling you something has to be done and it's giving you the instructions. If you don't follow the instructions, it's going to be a problem. The computer will not function correctly and you're already basically just spinning your wheels. Okay. My scanner will run and it will continue to run and it will repair itself because I have already copied as I showed you before up here on my computer. If I go to my C drive, you can see the i386 file folder for my version of Windows. Now, if you're not sure what version of Windows that you have, you can push the command button and the pause break key at the same time. This will open up your system properties window. Please note, under the general tab in system properties, it will tell you exactly what your version of Windows is. It is Microsoft Windows XP Professional version 2002 Service Pack 2. It will give you this information. This is important information for you to make sure that you get the right information when you copy your 386, i386 file folder. You cannot substitute another disk. You cannot use an aftermarket disk. It has to be a Windows OEM disk made by Microsoft. Okay? Please be aware of that, and thank you for watching.